Greetings, YouTube. Happy Wednesday. We don't have an offer to grade today, but we do have a couple of important notes of news to discuss. The first is Dungeon Days, which is always pretty exciting because uh, September 28th to October 1st, special bonuses and enhancements, solo objectives, global 25% dungeon point boost, and then greatly reduced champion cost. Okay, those are usually, or at least they were in the past, one unit per refresh, including your best five and six star champions, which was awesome. So I enjoy the dungeons. I think the dungeon crystals are very solid. I graded both the four and five stars this week if you want to take a look. So, you know, it's pretty fun. Just make sure, word of advice, that you grind dungeons with a friend or somebody you trust in the alliance. Don't do their sketchy, tender-like match with a stranger system because that is where you lead to dungeon nightmare experiences. Okay, but let's talk about this because this is, uh, you know, an interesting kind of news. Eventful eras are coming, and you can see Cable, Bishop, and what looks to be Kang's face on the banner. Greeting Summoner, starting September 4th, you'll be able to visit every era of Marvel history, including the one that might not include Spider-Man coming up. Find new favorites and old champions and join in with the new events. Here's what you can look forward to. Time after time, weekly quest. Each week, a new chapter will be released with two chapters available on the first week. And we'll be focusing on the gold, silver, bronze, copper, and modern eras of the Marvel comics. Each chapter will have one gated path, which will, requ will, which will require a specific champion to enter. Completing and mastering this quest will grant unified crystal shards and limited pool hero crystals. And then the era arenas, ooh, special arenas, from September 12th to September 19th and from September 26th to October 3rd, special arenas will be active. These arenas will feature era-specific hero crystals, so you're grinding the arena for crystals. Fascinating. And shards with the top rank reward for each arena, including a chance to pick one of six champions. A chance to pick one of six champions. Well, that is going to be a fascinating difference. Time Paradox solo event. Time Paradoxes can be dangerous and universal shattering events. So we're rolling the dice and encouraging it. Fighting an opponent with a matching champion will get you rewarded with more points being awarded for higher star rated opponents and bonus points for using specific champions. As an example, fighting Captain America World War II with Captain America World War II can gain you solo event points this month. Check your solo events for details on featured champions. Completing milestones can earn you up to 55,000 gold per day, which will also assist in the gold spend event. Okay, so um, that's probably the most newsworthy to the average summoner that doesn't want to grind in the arena to get gold because that will add up fast particularly if you do it every day. Okay, gold spin event. Make it rain. Earn points by spending gold in the contest to collect solo event rewards and unified crystal shards. Well, I've got 95 million gold, so I can't spin that fast enough. Era shard crystals. All summoners can acquire two to four star era hero crystals. Okay, well, uh, if you're like me, you're thinking, uh, what about the five and six stars? Well, I guess we've got to keep reading. Each week, a new era hero crystal will be available for units. Ew. With two era hero crystals available in the first week, with a limited pool of five champions from a specific era of Marvel Comics. Now, if there's five champions in the crystal, my basic math tells me there's a 20% drop rate per champion. So that's kind of fascinating and noteworthy. Those who have become uncollected by completing Act 5, Chapter 2, and Level 40 Plus or higher will additionally be able to acquire three to five star era hero crystals and Grandmaster Unified Crystals. Okay. Golden Age Crystals. For a limited time, special Golden Age Crystals will be available that guarantee gold with a rare chance to award the special five-star unified crystal. And rare chance, if it's like the gold pool drop rates, we're talking like maybe 1%. Two-star unified basic hero crystals. During the final week of the event, we'll be replacing the versus crystals found in Quick Match with two-star unified basic hero crystals. To allow you to go after the champions, you may still need to unlock champion gates in the time after time event quest. Watch for the quick match banner to change and you'll know this new reward update is live. If your basic hero is a duplicate of a champion you already possess, that champion signature ability increases by one, but no additional prizes are awarded, which sucks because that means no max sig crystals either. Prepare your team a battle for the ages awaits. Okay, so my biggest takeaway from these announcements, because this would be fine, right, if Cavalier didn't exist. But the fact that they're giving era shard crystals for uncollected but not cavalier, at least that's what it appears in the banner, is a missed opportunity and kind of confusing to me because you're not giving people who grinded Act 6 now a uh, better opportunity than those who have grinded Act 5, Chapter 2. So it's just uh, it's kind of a missed opportunity. 
But this is the kind of event also where Kabam really wants to give the majority of the excitement to their middle class, to even beginners, to get them hooked and to get them keep playing. And so two, three, and four star heroes might be exciting for those summoners. But if you're like me and you're really not even ranking up many five stars now because you're looking at six stars and kind of the health of the game and beyond, this kind of event seems to be pretty underwhelming. That is unless you need gold. I think the specifics regarding the 55,000 gold per day, that's going to come in handy and be huge for those of you that just don't want to grind your soul away in the arena. And if that's if that's you, I get it. I mean, I, I recognize it has been years since I've had a soul because that's how much I've grinded in the arena. I don't remember the last time I had a soul because I gave it to my cell phone when I pressed my fingers and thumbs against it for hours in an arena in a mobile game because I don't have a life at all. Well, there you have it, YouTube. Are you excited about this new uh, series of eventful eras? I feel underwhelmed as somebody who really is just looking for five and six star champions. I didn't see anything about tier two alpha catalyst fragments or tier five basic catalyst shards. Not that those won't be there at some point, but those are the kind of rewards that if you're looking to advance your roster, tier five basic, uh, tier two alpha, that's what you care about. Chances to get four star champions, you just kind of roll your eyes because it doesn't apply to you. And maybe it's not supposed to, but this is the kind of announcement that they hope will hype up the community. And at least for me, it's a bit underwhelming, but who knows, maybe there's some things to it that they haven't released yet. So give me your thoughts below. Happy Wednesday once again. Have a great day and good luck in all of your crystal openings in Marvel Contest of Champions.